Hello everyone, my name is Kingsley. I'm from Northwestern University IEMS department. Today I'm going to give a tutorial of a very special topic for martingales, aka the optimal stopping time of a martingale. Before I do that, I will first review the martingale definitions, because this definition is extremely important throughout any topics and any discussions of martingale problems. In this discussion, you have to keep in mind that a martingale is a discrete time stochastic process, which is defined with respect to a filtration. With this definition, we can have the following, very, the following two very elegant conclusions. So in the next couple of slides, we are going to play around with the second one. You have to keep in mind these results so that we can proceed. Now let's see some in interesting example first. Does this equation always hold? The answer is no. When t is deterministic, this equation always holds. But in the following example, it doesn't. Suppose t is a heating time. You can choose any real number here, but I choose 5 as my lucky number. Well, anyway. So what do we know about mt now? mt is large or equal than, zero, uh, than 5. So the expectation of mt is also, should also be larger or equal than 5, which is not equal to 0. This is a direct violation of the conclusion that I asked you to remember just now. That means in this special scenario, this equation doesn't hold. Well, when it does hold, or when we assume it holds, we can calculate interesting things. Here are two examples. Consider a simple symmetric random walk, Sn. Define T as a heating time to hit either the upper threshold or the lower threshold. So what is the probability that the, the process will hit the lower threshold first? If we assume the equation in previous slides hold and Sn is a martingale, then we can rewrite E as T in terms of the probability of the heating time and let it equal to zero. So this gives us the probability of the process to hit the lower heat, the lower threshold. It is B divided by A plus B. So what if the random walk is not symmetric? What if it has a bias? Now the SN is not a martingale. To employ the same method we used in example one, we have to construct the martingale by subtracting the drift as follows. So here Mn is a martingale constructing, constructed by subtracting the drift from Sn. So we will employ the exactly the same method as we did in previous slides and get the expectation of the heating time. Look at this result. Is there any special condition we should follow so that this result makes sense? Yes, because this one is an expectation of time. So it should be large, it should be greater than, one, than zero. That gives us the condition that P should be larger than one half. Now we have finished these two very interesting examples and got a sense of the optimal stopping of martingale. Let me give you a precise definition for stopping time and the stop the process. The formal definition of stopping time is like this, it's very complicated. Intuitively, if you want to determine whether a time for a particular event is a stopping time or not, you can observe the process up to a certain time point. If we can determine whether the event has happened or not, then the corresponding time for the event is a stopping time, otherwise it is not. So for example, the time for the first snow of the winter is a stopping time, while the time for the last snow of the winter is not. Furthermore, I want to define this, the definition of the stop process. I won't spend a lot of time in this definition because you will find a similar definition in almost every textbook of stochastic process. So let's, now let's proceed to some interesting properties of the optimal stopping time of martingales. Proposition 1, if n is a stopping time and z is a martingale, 
Then the stop, the corresponding stop process is also martingale with respect to the same filtration. This one is the most fundamental properties of martingale, and you can find a lot of applications. The following theorem tells basically the same story. So if Z is a martingale, T is a stopping time, then this equation holds, where T or N is defined as the minimum of T and N. So if T and N is a random variable, and T is a stopping time, then T or N is a stopping time as well, because they have the same filtration. Finally, I want to present some limiting properties. For the first one, this is an almost sure convergence, because we are supposing a sample path for a particular realization. This kind of sample path usually leads to almost sure convergence. For the second one, we consider a simple symmetric random walk, the same one as we do in example one. So it is a martingale, and we define the heating time in the same way, and then we have this convergence property. This, the proof of this convergence is rather simple, because as T or N is bounded, and the result will follow immediately from the bounded convergence theorem. So this concludes our tutorial, and see you next time. Thank you so much.